Hi, I'm Judy Chicago, and I want to welcome you to our new project, Woman House 2022. The artist in the front, Laura Furman, who has that incredible wall of abortion hangers, you know, uh, she had crowded three mannequins into that bathroom, and they just simply did not have enough space. Whereas Vlad was struggling with having too much space. And so I suggested they just exchange rooms. Which ended up being phenomenal for both of us because she has so much more room for her mannequins and now I was able to do this bathroom. When I came into this bathroom and I looked at it, I almost had this immediate eureka moment. I was really happy to get the pink bathroom, especially since there's already so much pink, there's already so much white. I wanted to add the blue color splash to sort of help showcase my transition, especially as a transgender man who's not necessarily very machismo, and that's fine by me. In the 1970s, the menstruation bathroom was as much a taboo as Vlad's transition bathroom is today. When we decided to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Woman House, it seemed sort of essential to reinstall the menstruation bathroom. One thing I was interested in, there's a clip in Johanna Dimitrakis's film on Woman House. There's three guys aghast at looking at the menstruation bathroom. Couldn't deal with it. That's a statement that's real uh, difficult to understand for a man. Or maybe it's very obvious. It's one or the other. It's either very difficult to understand or very. Look like she really had a mess on her hands. <laughs> Is that what she's saying? I don't know. That was 1972. I thought it'd be interesting to do it again for this installation. It was fun. We had a painting party where our studio manager and her assistant, who are way younger than me, advised me on the color. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> That's right.
Those are, that's how you move. Yeah. Help you. Yeah, when, right. Help you do the dishes. In the beginning, the other person doesn't, only one person moves. Yes. Okay, and then they change. Will you help me do the dishes? Help you do the dishes? Well, they're your dishes as much as mine. But you don't have a cock. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? A cock means you don't wash dishes. <laughs> what I started that with was an investigation of the construct of gender and that was part of the purpose, was to help the young women become more assertive. Every person who has walked through has told me there is a room that speaks to them. And so I think that that is probably the biggest success because we wanted to be inclusive, we wanted to make sure every voice mattered, and it does. If we're able to break through some of these taboos with the Woman House 22 art, it will have accomplished the same thing the original Woman House did, and that would be great.